everyone, and welcome to The Balancing Act. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Montel Williams. Today we got a great show. First, we're sitting down with someone who's dedicated her life to making such a huge difference. Nancy Brinker joins us in just a moment. Plus, mortgage protection, what you need to know. And we're learning more about a chronic condition that affects the lungs. It's called bronchiectasis. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, wow. That all starts right now. Breast cancer awareness has been at the forefront for so many years thanks to one woman who was determined to make a difference after her younger sister passed away from this disease. Absolutely. Nancy Brinker has dedicated nearly 40 years of her life to fighting and trying to find a cure for breast cancer. Today she's here to talk about a new initiative to help women in need. We are honored, so honored to have Nancy Brinker, founder of the Susan G. Komen Foundation and founder of the Promise Fund. Welcome. Thank you, Thank so, you much, so much, Olga. For Thank you very much for having me here. Absolutely. It's exciting to be with you. I'm excited to have you here. So is Montel. And I just wanted to share with our viewers, uh, Mrs. Brinker, I mean, this marks Montel 40 years since she started the Susan G. Komen Foundation. That's just amazing to me. And do you know how it started? Yeah, in a shoebox. In right? a shoe, with a $200. That's crazy. A shoebox filled yeah. with some names and numbers. And now Clearly it's just. pre internet. Right. Now it's a global movement. What a journey you've had. Oh, it was a journey. And we also had a secretary, a volunteer secretary who couldn't type and a broken typewriter. That's how we started. But look what you've done. <laughs> well, it was a lot of will, a lot of people, a lot of friends. And you know, we have funded billions of dollars of research in the United States, all of us together. But the one thing we haven't done is apply what we know. We know prevention, that is screenings, having being in the hands of a primary physician so that you get diagnosed better and easier, and then uh, being able to afford the care and finding a path and avenue. And that's why we've started the Promise Fund of Florida. And the Promise Fund is dedicated in a very granular way in helping the over 80,000 women in our county of Palm Beach in Florida. Mm. It's unbelievable. There are that many women who have no access to care, no medical home, and we're giving it to them. Well, you know, I mean, let, let's talk a little bit about that because that's a promise that's, uh, I, I got to tell you, I'm so glad, happy, happy that you're going to try to keep it. But talk about the Promise Fund is not just for Florida. No, the Promise Fund is, is it's the first model we're building. We're pairing a federally qualified health care center called Found Care with the work we're doing. We've brought them a mammography center. We have 11 navigators, community navigators, who reach into their own communities in the language that the people who are living there understand. And so far, with their help, we have interacted, screened, treated, and educated and navigated over 12,000 of those 80,000 women. And, and we're going to get to the end of this sooner than they think. And I know you will, because if anybody can do it, it's just a brinker. Yeah, and you and I, we're talking about statistics, and this is really alarming. She was telling me how it's amazing how uh, Hispanic women me, mm -hmm. my community, and African-American women, uh, these numbers are pretty alarming right. when it comes to That's breast cancer. That's exactly right. Disease tends to be uh, diagnosed later in Hispanic women. They tend to be a little bit shy and not wanting to go out and, and, and have this kind of uh, treat. It's, honestly, the screening today is very different than it ever was. It's very easy to go through if you have access. And with African-American women, oftentimes they have the genetic markers that are very, very aggressive, that make the disease aggressive. So we watch and work very hard in these communities. Which brings a uh, soundbite, I'm going to say, that her sister said years ago, when you once said it to me, it's a quote, it really hit home. Her sister said, where a woman lives should not determine whether she lives. That's, right. That's crazy. So powerful. Yeah, mm. and, and she was dying at that point. Oh. She knew. But she knew she had the best treatment and the best access to care. There's access to care and there's affordability. And these are the two issues that we deal with every day, all day, at the Promise Fund. Well, wow. over the years, you've received so many accolades from yeah. what you've done. Well. As a matter of fact, back in 2009, President Obama <laughs> gave you yeah. the Presidential Medal of Freedom. I, 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 talk about what is it you think is your biggest accomplishment? Uh, my biggest accomplishment, I hope, is that we have finally broken through the cultural barrier of being able to speak about these diseases and then know exactly what we're talking about. We understand cancer. We didn't understand it 50 years ago. Now we know. And now because we know, we owe the people who are the most apt to and at highest risk to be screened, treated, and live. 
your sister must be looking down so proud. What do you think she would well, tell she'd you? She'd be telling me to hurry up and get it done. As he did every day. <laughs> it didn't matter what I did. She thought it was a slow poke. She thought I, it took me too long to hurry do up. everything. Get on, get on with it. That's what she'd be saying. Stop talking and do it. Well, you've got <laughs> boots on the ground, and That's I want her to explain this. Yes, you've got some. What? Look at Montel's boots, well, and look well. at yours. Look at Olga's. Oh. Tell our oh. viewers oh. all to wear these boots. This means you're going to be with us on the ground every day. I'm on the ground right now, putting on my pink if boots. People want to get more information. Where do they go? Promisefund.org or the promisefundofflorida.org. There you that. go. I'm here. Yeah. They're right, fabulous. You go. We're going to help. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. We want everyone to help. We want everyone to do this in their community all over the world if they want to. We're going to help people replicate it. No one like you. Thank you thank so much, you so Mrs. Much. Thank you so much thank for being here, for sure. And of course, if you want more information, you can go to our website, thebowsingact.com. We'll be back right after this. You know they say real men wear pink. Put Absolutely. on your boots. Come on, now, well, I, I, <laughs> I would put them on, but you know they maybe one side too small. Bronchiectasis is a chronic condition affecting the lungs and without treatment can lead to respiratory or heart failure. Today we're going to meet with a pulmonologist, Dr. Eric Seifer, to learn about the common signs and symptoms and the importance of early diagnosis and treatment. But first, let's meet Patty, who went undiagnosed for almost 30 years, and how an easy-to-use, effective therapy is helping her breathe better and live better. Take a look. Take a look. I've been married for 40 years. I'm married to the most amazing person, Rob, and he's easy to be married to. Um, we have a great relationship. We have a lot of energy. We like to do a lot of things, but more so for me, my biggest thing is baking. And I love making bread. That has really uh, become my pastime with having to be home a lot. More recently, between COVID, being sick, I find it to be very therapeutic when you're going through anything in life. Well, it's interesting as a child because you don't really know what's going on all the time. You just know sometimes there's things that don't feel right. The breathlessness, I would say, was my biggest thing. But as time went on, yeah, I get infections, a lot of coughing, you know, that type of thing, shortness of breath, uh, congestion. It just, to me, seemed like nobody really knew what it was. Nobody bothered to pursue it or to figure it out. So I think that's the hard part when you realize it could have been different. You could have done different things. You could have gotten help in some way. Bronchiectasis is a condition in which the lung's airways are abnormally stretched and scarred, often caused by an infection or other condition that injures the walls of the airways. Patients cannot effectively clear mucus, causing it to build up and bacteria to grow. As a result, patients can suffer from repeated serious lung infections. So as a pulmonologist, when a patient is referred to me and they give me a history of recurring cough, chest congestion, and sputum production, which is the stuff that comes up when you cough, and that sputum is yellow or green, and then they see their primary care doctor, or they go to urgent care, or they go to the emergency room, and they get put on multiple courses of antibiotics over a period of a year, I would go ahead and order a high-res CT scan and document the presence of bronchiectasis. It is estimated that more than 640,000 people in the United States are being treated for bronchiectasis today, but experts believe many others go undiagnosed. People who have conditions that damage the lungs or increase the chance of lung infections are at risk for bronchiectasis. Conditions include COPD, asthma, pneumonia, chronic bronchitis, and cystic fibrosis. Bronchiectasis significantly negatively impacts the quality of your life. So at the end of the day, a patient that has bronchiectasis and it's not been diagnosed and it's not been, it's not being effectively treated, they're not getting better and staying better. The bronchiectasis will progress and the lung function will take a hit. Well, we had been to a lot of different doctors and we had kind of exhausted everything. I decided to go to New York to take control of my own wellness and it's the most beautiful decision I ever made in my life. I finally got to the most amazing pulmonologist, and she played such a vital role in making the diagnosis, but also providing a treatment plan for me. 
Although there is no cure for bronchiectasis, early detection and treatment can help patients have a better quality of life and prevent further lung damage. So the overall goal um, in managing these patients is first, diagnose the disease that is the bronchiectasis. Second, get them effective therapy. Airway clearance devices uh, is the foundation because they can create and do create sufficient sharing force to actually mobilize those secretions and get them out of these patients' lungs. There are several types of airway clearance options that can help loosen and remove mucus, including manual chest physical therapy, handheld devices, and high-frequency chest wall oscillation. So the VEST airway clearance system by Hilram was the very first high-frequency chest wall oscillation device to get FDA clearance. The VEST airway clearance system from Hillrom is designed for both children and adults who have a hard time effectively clearing excess mucus. During therapy, the garment inflates and deflates rapidly, applying gentle pressure to the chest wall. This works to loosen and thin mucus and to move it toward larger airways where it can be cleared by coughing or suctioning. It was about 10 years ago that I started with the VEST airway clearance system from Hillrom. It's the most incredible thing in how it brings up all the secretions. It was very relaxing and it really helps you with your breathing and the benefits have been tremendous. It was pretty emotional actually at the time because I had been struggling so much with it that I was one with this thing. To really have the healthy lung hygiene, making sure that you're doing all these healthy things to keep everything at bay is crucial. A prescription is, is all you need, and I think that's the interesting part with this. Um, Hillrom does the rest. They work with your insurance, and I'm grateful for the fact that they go to bat. Hillrom sets you up for success as your support and your network. They don't only just deliver um, merchandise, but they, they train you. They make sure that you know how to use it. If I need anything from them, I know that I can call and they're so reliable in getting things done. And we're, we're a team together. What's really critically important in the management of patients is this open communication. It's fundamental. And the communication has to be between the patient and the provider, between the patient and the company that's providing them their equipment. And I have found that my years of working with Hillrom that they do support that patient and their needs, help support me. I look at them as a colleague collaborating with me as a partner in the healthcare management of that patient. You are your best advocate for your own health. Don't let your provider um, make you feel that it is a burden to them to answer a question that you have. And when it comes to your health, you don't want to be passive. You want to be active. You want to be actively involved in your health care. When you struggle and you find something that works and it's reliable and it's dependable, you want that. You want that as part of your treatment. And it's such a relationship now that I wouldn't be this successful. I would not be here without the vest. And I've benefited so tremendously with this that um, I'm so much healthier and I live a better life. If you have bronchiectasis, speak to your doctor to see if the vest airway clearance system from Hillrom is right for you. And for more information, you can always visit livingwithbe.com. You can also always visit our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back. Today we're continuing our series on insurance with our partners at Family First Life. Joining me today is Steve Giordano. He's here to help us understand mortgage protection. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Olga. It's a pleasure. All right, so walk me through it. Mortgage protection, I haven't really heard of this one. 
So mortgage protection is a type of term life insurance that'll cover you against illnesses, disability, and also death. It's gonna cover basically the length of your loan and pay that off to make sure that your family can stay in the home. Which I can only imagine, and I've seen it happen, if someone passes, which is extremely unfortunate, and then the family has to uproot and leave, which is now even more unfortunate. There's so many stories that I could tell you of families that I met with, whether it be delivering them the death check that was going to keep them in the home, or people that I just meet who have had it happen to them in the past, where they had to deal with probate and things of that nature and trying to fight to get the house. You walk in the home and they're like, hey, I need this coverage because I got to make sure I, I don't do this to my family. So let's talk about a few tips uh, that you can offer regarding this kind of insurance. So the things you're looking for, number one, when you're young, you want to get it because you're going to save money on the premium. It's going to be you know, much more affordable. Makes when sense. we meet people, our goal is to try and uh, fit their budget. Um, so we look at a lot of different options. We're blessed to work with multiple carriers so we can find different things for different people. Um, and the other thing is you want to make sure that you cover the length of your loan. If you have a 10, a 15, a 30 year, you want to cover however long the financial responsibility would be for your dependents. Okay. And when it comes to special requirements, are there any? So we go through about a 15 minute process, uh, all simplified, meaning there's no uh, blood or urine or having to do any type of medical. There are some health requirements, but pretty much it's pretty lenient with simplified issue. You can ha have some certain health conditions and be covered. You sell a lot of policies and there's so much to offer, but do you find this one to be right up there? This is probably the best and the most impactful, um, particularly the one that has living benefits where it covers you against things like chronic, critical, and terminal illnesses. So this way, if you had things like heart, stroke, or cancer, you could pull money from the policy early to continue paying your loan. So it covers you on life and as well as death. Dealing with the death is always difficult, but then uprooting the family and moving to somewhere else, that to me is just, it's too much. Absolutely. It's the thing that, uh, the reason we do what we do, we protect families each and every day, keeps them in their home, and it makes sure that generations down the line are going to be set up for success financially. It's called Mortgage Protection Insurance. For anyone out there who'd like more information, where can they go? Go to FamilyFirstLife.com. You can get in touch with an agent. They'll come out, go through the process with you, and get you a plan that fits your needs and budget. Steve, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And if you'd like more information, go to our website, TheBalancingAct.com. So I got my pink boots, I'm gonna wear them, and we're gonna help her with her cause. Absolutely, they're great boots. I mean, mine didn't fit, so you know, I'm gonna <laughs> we'll let get you, you wear the right them. size. Well, okay, <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining us today. Remember to head to our Facebook page, like us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and visit thebalancingact.com to enter our latest sweepstake or giveaway. Wow, that was a mouthful. I know, and so is this song, ready? These boots were made for walking. <laughs> you know what you gotta do, be safe, love that family of yours, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>